Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting physique updates and I gotta start this video with a physique update of Brandon Curry but these photos are not exactly from today, they are recent, but from two weeks ago why would Terence Ruffin wait for two weeks to post these photos? is he maybe lying because he wants us to think that uh, Brandon Curry is in better conditioning now? no, no, this is actually in Dubai as you can see in the background, I believe this is Bino's gym in Dubai and he was over there two weeks ago when he competed so I I'm assuming uh, Brandon was there as well and they took this couple of photos and now that Terence actually published a video on his YouTube channel he posted his photos on his IG as well and so yeah, this is uh, from two weeks ago now looking at Brandon Curry here of course, the only thing that I can think about is where he's gonna place at a Mr. Olympia and based on this look right here, it's really hard for me to say that this guy is not gonna be in that top 5, it's really freaking hard to say I mean, I do have Andrew Jacked in my top 5 instead of Brandon but man, I'm looking at his photos and I don't know, I don't know anymore because he's looking really freaking impressive, I mean Andrew Jack is amazing, he has great uh, shape, great structure, great silhouette, I mean amazing with a pretty complete physique, but he is not as thick as Brandon Curry, Brandon is freaking huge, he looks like a freaking bubble, I mean right here, he looks so big, so round, so full, and like the only thing that we need to worry about is really is his legs like how full how big will his legs be on that stage and based on these photos i mean yeah they are not great they are not the best set of legs ever i mean if you compare him to terence ruff and i'm sure he's bigger overall but you can see that the, the structure difference of the quads brandon just doesn't have the best shape and uh, yeah his legs are gonna be weak, they're gonna be weaker than those of Andrew Jack, even, who is much more stringy than Brandon, but he has more of that outer sweep, that pop to the leg, Brandon, you know, his legs are pretty flat, especially compared to his super massive and round upper body, so, you know, that imbalance might hurt him, but, like, how much is it gonna hurt him? He probably won't be able to beat Samson, Nick, Hadi or Derek, but the other guys... I don't know, I think he should be the favorite for that fifth spot, or maybe even higher, if one of those four guys mess up. Now here in the side chest, you can't really see that he's lacking any size in the legs, so from the sides, his legs are looking amazing, his upper body is looking probably the best in the world right now, out there, yeah? The only problem is legs, but not from the sides, and not, I wouldn't say from the back either, from the front only, I mean, that's like four poses, so I can't say from the front only, but, you know, it's gonna hurt him, it's gonna hurt him a lot, maybe if one of those guys in the top four, in my top four, mess up the conditioning, maybe he can climb up, maybe he can place in the top four again, maybe even higher, who knows, maybe he can be third or second, it's not impossible, but I think the safest bet for Brandon is like 5th or 6th, that's my opinion, even though he looks super impressive right here, that just tells you how tough the competition is today, I mean, the top 5, the top 6 is gonna be crazy, I mean, the entire show is gonna be stacked up, it's gonna be really competitive, the entire, let's say, top 15, but like the top 5, the guys are so good these days that even if you look like Brandon Curry, as you can see right here, he looks insane, even if you look like that, you are you don't have the best chances of actually cracking the top 5, it's gonna be tough for Brandon. His coach Abdullah posted this today, I guess this is very recent, and as you can see, once again, super, super impressive, especially from the side, look at this quarter turn, it's, it's insane. But still, I have to say probably 5th or 6th because of the legs, but, you know, his conditioning is very, very good for this point, at around 5 weeks out, a little bit less, more like 4 weeks out, 4 and a half, let's say, so if he's disconditioned right now, he's probably gonna be in a really good shape for a Mr. Olympia, much better shape than last year, and if he's shredded, like, really shredded, and last year he wasn't, if he's shredded this year, then maybe he can surprise us, maybe I'm making a big mistake for discounting him, you know, placing him in that 5th or 6th, maybe he's gonna place higher, I mean, he does look really freaking crazy right here, whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next we got a little physique update of Justin Rodriguez, at a couple of days, like 3 days out of Legion, and, I mean, I thought this guy would be one of the favorites, 
to win this show, but I mean, looking at his physique, I don't know, I don't know. I think he looks significantly smaller than before. I mean, he took some time off, you know, he used to compete, like, super often, like, you would see him at every show for the past, I don't know, three, four years, and then he decided to take a break, finally. And I thought it was gonna help his physique, you know, to make him look more fresh, to make him even look bigger, fuller, healthier, you know, but based on this physique update, I don't know, maybe he's just really, really flat and he's gonna start carving up tomorrow or today, I mean, that's probably what is happening, but the way he's looking right here, I, mean, I don't think he's super conditioned as well. Like, pay attention to the quads, like, they don't really look super dry, I don't see any separation, I mean, any feathers or anything like that, I don't see vascularity, I don't see, like, a super thin skin, so, I don't see him being, like, super conditioned, even in the upper body, like, I don't really see any lines, any striations, I mean, very little, and he doesn't look really big. And this guy is really known for his size. I mean, he rarely really, you know, peaks well. He's rarely, like, super conditioned. He's, most of the time, he misses the peak. He's either too watery or, like, too flat or something like that. When he hits the peak, he's very, very good. But he always did have, like, the size. Like, he was always really wide in his shoulders, especially. His back was always, like, really big, really wide. But looking at his physique update... I don't know if he still got it. I mean, we'll see in a couple of days. But looking at this photo, I don't think I can see him win this show or, like, place above John Jewett or Charles Griffin. Now, I think Charles, Charles Griffin and John Jewett are gonna make the top two. And as far as the third spot, I mean, there is a, there is a lot of good guys doing this show, but, like, Justin Rodriguez is probably the biggest name. I don't think he's gonna be in that top three based on this. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm not really amazed when I'm looking at this photo. He looks definitely underwhelming for his standards. What do you guys think? And then we got a physique update, an off-season physique update of Sergio Oliva Jr. And as you can see, he looks really freaking massive right now. He probably looks bigger than ever. And as you can see in the caption, he tags a new coach, Neil Hill. And I'm sure most of you guys know that he has always been coached by Chris Asito for the past decade. Here in this post that he made recently, he actually says that he has been coached by Chris Asito for 10 years and he's thanking him and he wrote a little text about Chris and I had no idea what was this about. He didn't say anything about stopping uh, and uh, working with him. He just thanked him, he wrote a little text about Chris Asito and their time working together, but apparently this meant that they stopped working. This was at the last show that uh, Sergio did with uh, Chris Asito, I believe this was California Pro, and this was after that whole fiasco that happened over there in Dubai when uh, Sergio was, uh, you know, in jail for like a month before the show, so this definitely couldn't have been, you know, Sergio at his uh, absolute best, this wasn't him at his peak, but it was his last show, he still did a show, I think he placed like third or fourth, and as you can see, he looked okay, definitely not as good as he could have looked, but it was fine, and as you can see here, he tagged uh, Chris Asito, and I think like at around 10 weeks ago, he started working with Neil Hill because I checked the posts and that's, that's about the time when Neil Hill started commenting on every post that Sergio makes. And this is basically the results of them working together and like I understand why Sergio would go from Chris Asito to Neil Hill. The same reason why uh, Rafael Branda went from Chris Asito to Neil Hill. Because these guys need more muscle and I know it's crazy to think that this guy needs more muscle. But for a guy of his height, and I believe he's like six foot, for a guy of that frame, he does need more muscle on, on, on that huge frame. And Chris Asito is not somebody who is really, you know, working with the guys in the off season. Like he's a prep coach. He's gonna get you shredded, but that's about it. That's where it ends. And if you need to put more muscle on and you don't really know how, and you need somebody's help, then there are different coaches that can help you with that. And Neil Hill seems to be one of the coaches that athletes pick for that. Uh, and yeah, I could say that he had great success with uh, helping guys put on the muscle. 
and maintain it and actually show up on the stage looking big and full so i think this collaboration is gonna work out fine i think sergio probably needed somebody new to tell him to do something new something different maybe he's gonna be even more motivated now that he's working with a new coach anyways in this physique update here he does look humongous i have no idea what his plans are as far as future competitions but I do believe the next time we see this guy on stage, he's gonna be a different version of himself. And lastly, we got a side leg update of Samson Dauda. And as you can see here, his leg is looking ridiculous. I mean, the, the, the thickness of those freaking legs, uh, the hamstrings, the quads. This is insane. This, is, this looks kind of, you know, photoshopped, I would say. But is it? I mean, there are some pages that made posts about this and they're saying that he did photoshop this photo because there is some bending of the background happening. If you pay close attention, the background, it seems like there is some warping going on. I mean, did he really do this? I don't think so. I don't think there is a chance. Why is it looking like this? I mean, this is on his account. You can go go ahead yourself and check it out. I didn't do anything. Um, it does look weird, but I think it's just, I don't know, maybe the mirror. It's probably the mirror. Something like that. I don't think Samson would ever do that. And if Milos found out that Samson is editing his photos like this, warping them, he would lose it. He would go crazy. So <laughs> that's definitely not happening here. Uh, I, I'm assuming that the warping is happening because of the mirror. And that's my best guess. There are some pages who talked about this. I'm not going to say which pages. You, you guys probably saw it already. There is a lot of people talking about this. I think it's nonsense. I mean, I, I understand why somebody would make this post. You can definitely see something is weird but that that can be it i don't think samson needs to photoshop his photos i mean he has like a real life photoshop i mean he he looks like a freaking i don't know cartoon character so he doesn't need to do the stuff like this um once again i could see why somebody would think because it does kind of seem like it but that's definitely not the case and his legs look insane right now and i'm sure nick walker is probably looking at this photo and scratching his head so yeah i think i think samson is going to surpass nick walker well, i mean he already did the arnold but i think he's going to confirm it at the mr olympia and actually i have samson winning the mr olympia but we're going to talk about that furthermore in one of my upcoming videos so guys stay tuned subscribe to this channel if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much all the best and bye bye